Welcome to PC Wits Kids Weekly Answer Back, episode number six. Today we're looking at some more common questions that I've been receiving, starting with you've installed something in Windows and now you can't get into Windows, right? Basic. So how do you get your system back? All right, so we need to go into safe mode, basically. That's the first thing that I would try. If you can get into safe mode, then you can undo and remove what you just added, okay? So hit the F8 key when you boot up your machine. It'll give you this menu. Choose safe mode or hit F5 when it boots up couple times to make sure you get it and it goes straight into safe mode. Safe mode is basically a basic version of Windows with a bare minimum. Doesn't load all the drivers for example so that way you can go in without um, any conflicts and remove what it is that you did or do a system restore. So in the control panel obviously you can go into the add removes or go into the device manager and remove the piece of hardware that you just added that might have caused the problem or remove the software that you just added and uh, in the device manager obviously you can find the video card for example and just delete that from there and then let it detect it again and reinstall it with the default uh, drivers or different drivers if that's what caused the problem for example if it's not a hardware problem and you're not scanning for new hardware and you're not trying to install new hardware and that's not the, the issue then just go into the add remove programs icon in the control panel and then get the list of programs find the one that you just installed that caused your machine to fail to hang in normal mode and uh, just uninstall it from here right remove it from here and then after you removed it reboot your machine and uh, hopefully you'll be able to get into Windows now another question I've been getting is what games will work in Windows 7 right you've got Windows XP or Vista and you're wondering if those games will continue to work in Windows 7 well basically a lot of games that I found that will work on XP will work in Windows 7. Vista games that are running in DirectX 10 pretty much work all in Windows 7. Okay. Now here's um, a list of games, for example, that I've been using in my uh, hardware reviews. You can watch them, and I've uh, shown you the games in action. Okay. Complete list. You can go to my website. Okay. Now if you right-click on an icon of one of your games and you go into the properties, you can click on the compatibility tab, and from there you can check off this run this program in compatibility mode and make that game run basically in a Windows XP Service Pack 3 mode or Service Pack 2 mode for example or in a Vista mode so there are different types of compatibility modes so you can try running the game in if you see that you're having problems running it as is without touching anything in Windows 7 so uh, there's some tweaking that you can do there for your game another question that I've been getting is what's a good free antivirus program okay a lot of you don't want to pay for a good one so you want a free one well you can get the Avista Home Edition Okay, here's the link for that. The Havist Ohm, Ohm uh, edition is pretty good. Uh, you can also use AVG 9.0. That's another free one that uh, I've done a video review on. So this one's free. You can go to this URL and get the uh, AVG 9.0 now. And uh, there's uh, another bunch of um, malware removers or spyware removers, the Hijack Free and the A Squared Free uh, edition. You can go to this URL and download that as well. Okay, so keep the questions coming and uh, I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching.